In this video, I'll show you how to add a tax toggle widget to your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite tax exemption rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so now the second step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you just navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, just navigate to the Wii Suite activate menu here, enter in your license key, and then it'll automatically redirect you to this add-ons page. Then you can go ahead and enable the tax exemption rules plugin. So I've already got this um, switched to on. So now we can move on to the third step. So before we actually configure our tax toggle widget, I just want to quickly review my um, WooCommerce tax settings. So I'm just going to navigate to WooCommerce settings and I'll open this in a new tab. Okay, then I'll navigate to this tax tab here. And you just want to make sure you've got um, taxes enabled from the general settings as well. Okay, so on my current store, I've um, entered the prices um, excluding our tax. Okay, and for the store prices display, I've set this to exclude tax and the same on the cart page as well. So I've set this to exclude tax. Okay, so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and configure our tax toggle widget. So we'll navigate to WeSuite and then tax exemption rules. Again, I've opened this in a new tab. Okay, so now we'll just navigate to tax display. Okay, so we just want to enable this option where it says use a tax exemption toggle button. So I'll just enable this here. Okay, so now we just want to set up our tax label. So for example, um, let's navigate to the front end just so we can see better. So we're going to set up the label here. So this is our toggle switch. Um, for example, um, this is excluding and then including. So we just want to put the appropriate label so it makes sense for our customers as well. And then the tax suffix is basically um, the text that the customer will see after the price. Okay, so let's say including and then let's say excluding. So for the tax suffix, when the tax is included in the price, I'm just going to put in and when it's excluded, we'll just put um, X. Okay, you can rename it to whatever you want. So I'll just save changes. And then by default, you'll automatically see this tax widget here. So when I refresh this page, we can see that currently it's set to excluding tax. Okay, um, we can probably make it more specific and say excluding tax. And sorry, including tax and then excluding tax. Okay, just so it makes more sense to customers. Okay, and as you can see here, all the prices on our store are currently displaying excluding tax. And we've got the suffix here as well, which says EX. And if we go ahead and change this to including tax, here we can see all the prices are displaying including the tax. Okay, so by default, when you enable this option, it'll automatically show this tax widget above here. So if you want to relocate this widget, you'll just go ahead and use our short code and we'll do that now. So I'm just going to customize the header section of this um, design. So this site is currently using Elementor. If you're using a Gutenberg block base um, theme or Divi or any other theme, if you use um, our widget, it will still allow you to relocate um, the tax widget. Okay, so to relocate our tax toggle widget, I'm just going to add a new column here. And it's the same concept for whatever theme you're using. So if you're using a Gutenberg based theme or Divi or any of the other themes, you just go ahead and add our short code and it should work. So I'm just going to search for short code here. Okay, and then we'll add our short code. So it's brackets, um, woos, hyphen, tax, hyphen, toggle close bracket okay and we can go ahead and update okay and now when we view this page we can see that our tax widget is showing here instead of the position above and just to be clear let's go ahead and add this cart here and then our tax widget will show before the cart so let's just update this again okay and now when we refresh this page our tax um, toggle widget should be displaying here 
and that's this playing file. And that's the add a WooCommerce tax toggle widget in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.